highlighting history of suburban Sydney with the St Peter's Cooks River History Group. Our aim is to preserve and promote local history. We are based at St Peter's in Sydney's Inner West. Chippendale is located between Central Railway Station, City Road, Broadway and Cleveland Street. In the early 1800s, military gardens were established in the area, allowing soldiers to grow their own vegetables as a supplement to their rations. Landowners bordering the military gardens were William Chippendale, who gave his name to the suburb, Robert Cooper, Major George Druitt and Thomas Shepherd, the owner of a commercial nursery. The street names Rose, Myrtle and Pine are a reminder of this. Cooper built the Brisbane Distillery named after Governor Brisbane in 1825. The three and four storey buildings were on Parramatta Street, today's Broadway. Water was obtained from Blackwattle Creek and Swamp at the rear of the property. Cooper built a range of workers' houses on his land, including a row of over 50 cottages known as Cooper's Row. The distillery diversified into flour and sugar milling. In 1844, the distillery was advertised for sale. In 1850, the Brisbane distillery, flour mill, sugar house and a warehouse called the Pantechnican, houses and cottages were again advertised for sale. At that time, James Pemmel rented the flour mill and remained there until it burnt down in 1870. Mm. The Australian Sugar Company, which later became the Colonial Sugar Refinery, occupied the sugar mill and the distillery. The company offered employment, but also contributed to local pollution. In 1879, it was relocated to Piermont. In 1835, Charles Newham and John Tooth established the Kent Brewery on the western portion of Druitt's Grant. The brewery took advantage of the fresh water from Blackwattle Creek. The Kensington Estate subdivision was to the east. The original brewery consisted of two buildings set well back from Parramatta Street and was enlarged in the early 1840s. The Newham Tooth Partnership was dissolved in 1843. A fire destroyed most of the original Kent Brewery in 1853. Its reconstruction led to the use of new technology and equipment. By 1901, the brewery had extended west to take in adjacent streets. By 1915, it had gone further west to approach Abercrombie Street. Although shops and some residences still fronted Parramatta Road, the brewery owned them and they were demolished as the site expanded. By 1975, the brewery fronted Parramatta Road from Kensington Street to Abercrombie Street. Production of beer ceased in January 2005. Today the site is Central Park, a commercial and residential area. A number of heritage buildings have been retained and a large new park, Chippendale Green, established. St Benedict's Chapel and Schoolhouse opened its doors in 1838. Ten years later the foundation stone of the church was laid. The building was completed in 1856 with the addition of a spire. When the road was widened in the 1930s, the front of the building was shortened by five metres. In 1842, Chippendale became part of the newly incorporated City of Sydney. During the 1830s and 40s, an increasing number of narrow streets appeared. Housing for working families was cramped and substandard. A social survey of 1858 described tiny two-room cottages as a shocking sight, quite uniform and abominable throughout. By the 1870s, all of Chippendale had been subdivided and built with houses that continued to attract attention for their substandard quality. From 1871 to 1891, the population increased by over 50%. Terrace houses replaced cottages. Sydney Council's first affordable housing project was Strickland House in Balfour Street. Opening in 1914, it is still home to public housing tenants. As the population grew, the many hotels on Parramatta Street were augmented by others in neighbouring streets. In the 1880s and 90s, there were 24 hotels in Chippendale. Today, some are still operating with changed names. Others are used for different purposes. Some have been demolished. 
When George Street West, today's Broadway, was widened in the 1930s, hotels were rebuilt. Sutherland's on the corner of Regent Street was the site of the Railway Family Hotel, later renamed the Westminster. The old Clare Hotel site was originally the California Inn, then Ryan's Hotel. The now demolished Clare Castle Hotel on the corner of Balfour Street was the Regent in 1925. The Great Western Hotel, now demolished, was formerly the Golden Anchor on the corner of the original Carlton Street. The site is now in multi-storey apartments. The Australian Hotel was rebuilt in 1937 after road widening. The Hotel Broadway is now the Broadway Crown Hotel. On the corner of Regent and Altram Street, the Emu Hotel. From 1926 it was known as the Buffalo. In the 1850s, the corner of Regent and Ma Streets was the site of the Crown Inn. Rebuilt in the early 1900s, it was later known as the Black Market Hotel. The Hellfire Club met there from 1993. In November 1997, three members of the Bandidos Bikey Gang were shot dead in the club's basement. The venue was vacant for many years before being restored. The Lloyd Gladstone Hotel, opposite the former Crown Hotel. The Stirling Castle was on the corner of Regent and Cleveland Streets. The Castle Connell Hotel replaced an earlier hotel of the same name built in the 1880s. Purchased by Tooths in 1935, it was used for several decades as the brewery staff bottle shop. The hotel had a long association with the brewery site and its workers. The Chippo Hotel in Abercrombie Street was originally the Royal Oak, then the Shannon. In Rose Street, the Duck Inn was originally the White Swan Hotel and then the Duck and Swan. The Rose Hotel in Cleveland Street, formerly the Native Rose. The Thurles Castle Hotel is now Anglicare Sydney's hostel for older people who are homeless or at risk of homelessness. In Myrtle Street, the Park View Hotel. The Lansdowne Hotel was originally on the northern side of Broadway. It relocated to City Road in the early 1930s. On the corner of City Road and Myrtle Street, the former Imperial Hotel. In the early 1900s, the City Council carried out land resumptions. Small residential cottages were demolished and replaced by commercial industrial buildings. Standard telephone and cables manufactured radios branded as STC at Myrtle House in Myrtle Street, currently apartments. Burley House, a six-storey factory built on Regent Street in 1911, was the home of the famous Australian-made Burley corsets, today Curtain House. H.L. Bushell and Company, flour and cereal manufacturer in Ma Street, became White Wings, today a creative workspace. Moran and Cato, wholesale grocers, were in Cleveland Street. Also in Cleveland Street, the McRobertson's Chocolate Factory and Phoenix Biscuit Company. Scanlers started manufacturing confectionery in 1911. The Scanlon Goblin Sweets Factory was in Rose Street. John Henry McAvoy, a boot manufacturer established Fostar's Shoe Factory on the corner of O'Connor and Balfour Streets. A two-storey factory in Myrtle Street was constructed for J.C. Goodwin and Company, glass importers, bevelers and silverers. The building has now been transformed into offices built around a central courtyard. Chippendale was a suburb of smells. The brewery, with the stench of hops, the White Wings Cake Factory had vanilla and orange baking days, the McRobertson's Factory with the smell of cherry ripe. In 1847, a small Wesleyan chapel in Queen Street was replaced by a larger building on Botany Road, today's Regent Street. 
Sydney's first railway line opened in 1855. The terminal was at the eastern edge of the suburb. The building of the mortuary station on Regent Street, taking funerals directly to the Rookwood Cemetery, resulted in undertakers, monumental masons and florists setting up their businesses in Chippendale. The Bank of New South Wales opened on the corner of Regent Street in 1860. Today the bank serves as a function centre. Other banks opened. The English, Scottish and Australian Bank on the corner of today's City Road. The Government Savings Bank of New South Wales on the corner of Shepherd Street was absorbed by the Commonwealth Bank in the 1930s. In 1871, the poor of Chippendale were served by a branch dispensary of Sydney Hospital established in Regent Street. A purpose-built building was erected in 1926. The Government resumed land for a school in 1881. Blackfriars School was built adjoining St Benedict's Church. It pioneered the Montessori method of teaching. In 1905 it became the first home of Sydney Teachers College. A correspondence school for children living in remote and country areas opened there in 1924. In 1996 the University of Technology purchased the site. The Sydney City Mission worked from many sites in Chippendale. In 1886 a mission hall was built in Little Queen Street. In 1877, Parramatta Street was renamed George Street West. The road was widened in the 1930s and became Broadway. For many decades, Chippendale remained a working-class industrial suburb. By the 1970s, the area was attracting young people associated with tertiary education institutions. In the 1980s and 90s, industries moved out. Factories were converted to apartments. The old St Benedict School was readapted as the University of Notre Dame, which has continued to expand into buildings along Broadway. Today, Chippendale has come a long way from the toxic swamps of the sugar refinery and the smell of hops. It has become a home for restaurants, cafes, markets, artists, galleries and innovative retailers. If you have enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel. It's free. Coming soon. Camperdown, named after a naval battle. Today, a major part of the suburb is occupied by the University of Sydney and the Royal Prince Alfred Hospital. And check out our website, stpeterscooksriverhistory.com.